Oh no. Ooh, right in the jug. Man. That that now that's a way to decapitate someone. What's up everyone? Um this is my first video. I'm Sammy and it's late at night. And we're gonna be watching some movies and occasionally some TV. And maybe even some film news. I don't know. What whatever whatever you guys think I should be reacting to or talking about, we're gonna talk about it. And if you're watching today, thank you. We're going to grow. My, you'll see my face grow. You'll see some beard grow. You might see some hair growth. But most importantly, is we want to grow as a family and continue watching some really cool movies. And we're gonna we're gonna go across the board. We might go to I don't know Criterion movies. Samanese B uh, exploitation films. We'll watch anything. Anything. I've watched a lot of movies, but this channel is for watching those gems. And today we have a gem. It is a movie called An American Werewolf in London by John Landis. I only know John off John Landis through his son Max Landis. When he used to make appearances on um, that YouTube show, um, uh, Screen Junkies, and he was a very articulate guy. And I've seen um, Coming to America, but that's about it. Haven't seen the Blues Brothers again. I probably would want to see that, but I've always been aching to see an American Werewolf in London, and it's it's you know it's. 80s is considered an 80s classic and we're gonna watch it but before we do um, I'd like to get the synopsis from a really cool database right the database I use right now instead of IMDB it's a uh, letterboxd they're just awesome and according to letterbox an American werewolf in London 1981 directed by John Landis goes as follows Beware the moon. Two American tourists in London and in, in England are attacked by a werewolf that none of the locals would admit exists. Now you gotta give it that. That's a pretty good synopsis. That's a that's a good that's a good one liner. Alright, we're starting out with the classic universal logo. My particular you know, I prefer the older ones, you know, like Argo. That's that. That's the one that usually comes to mind. You know, it's so it's so weird. It's so funny that you know these these type of musics can either go two ways. It can either be really nostalgic or it can be really creepy. Mount Private Idaho and that that kettle song. It's just so eerie when I hear it back. So, I, I I have a feeling we're gonna revisit these uh, these scapes, landscapes. I don't know. So, something seems eerie. Still long takes. There's. Oh, and we have a movement. Uh, one, one more thing. You gotta love film grain. Keep the grain. Hashtag keep the grain. Bet they had a good night's sleep. That's all they packed. Yeah. This is this is this is the exact type of talk you would probably. Well, I can just imagine. You're walking, you're walking some long roads and this is the type of talk you have with your friend. <laughs> Do these guys even have a plan? Ooh, the slaughter lamb. Some good graphics right there. I don't know, you get the feeling that the entire town or such, they're on some, they're on some, they're on something. <laughs> they know something, they, they know something these travelers don't. Something seems awkward. Some something something does not feel right. <laughs> this is the type of bar you would want to go to if you were, if you visited London. The Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's so funny, but I guess it's just funny when everybody laughs. <laughs> uh oh. 
Uh, that guy probably is important. He has never sure. missed. He has never missed a shot go. before. Uh, how much do we owe? You? Must go to them. I heard nothing. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> she has a conscience. Everybody else doesn't. Beware the moon. Beware the moon. Stick to the road. Oh, they veered off the road. Something, something is going on. They, they just, they should have followed their instructions. Of course, now they're heading back. All wet shoe and everything. Oh man, this is the worst. This is the worst position to be in. Oh shit, David, what is that? Oh, hello, fuck. hello. Do something. Do something. <laughs> What's the plan? plan? Get out a weapon. Let's just keep walking. <laughs> That's the most unproductive plant. <laughs> Run! I, I like how they're just looking right at the camera. Oh, here we go again. Camera movement. Jack, David! <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Wow. Well, that's that's how he's gonna do him. He's just gonna run away. Wow! Wow! <laughs> that what are you kidding me? Oh! 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 So they must not have been very far from the pub if the if everyone caught up to them. Oh! Wait, who is that? That was naked. Mr. Kessler, everything just seems so. I'm going to look into your seems eyes. off. It seems like, you know, how the shining, everything is just. You question everything. It just becomes more eerie and eerie. Oh <laughs> man, are you kidding me? <laughs> Her <laughs> smile. <laughs> Can I be of service, Nurse Bryant? Doctor Hatch. Go about your duties. Oh, this 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 do <laughs> this doctor's gangster. <laughs> Attacked by an escaped lunatic. Must have been a very powerful man. Escaped lunatic. Oh, he's in on. He's in on it. You can just see it on his face. Question is, how many days was he in the? Uh, how many days has been he been treated for? Doesn't seem. Seems like he's been there quite some time. Your friend is dead. Your friend is dead. <laughs> Not much time to prepare for that news. I'm Mr. Collins of the American Embassy here in Grosvenor Square. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't take his help. <laughs> I wouldn't take his help. Everything's in order. Mr. Kessler, try not to excite yourself. <laughs> what do you mean? You were just told your old friend is dead. Collins, he'll rest now. I'm sure oh, everything man. Time once he's adjusted. He, 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 he just want to punch Mr. Collins. <laughs> they never appreciate anything you do for him. Ooh. Choice Some words. I, I kind of have a feeling Nurse Price is the only other good person in this whole story. Okay. Oh, that that's some that's some stationery holder, a skull. I also kind of have a feeling this is the type of movie you want to pay attention to, uh, both the foreground and the background. It almost seems like things are happening in the background that you should be paying attention to. Someone who's gone through a terrible shock. Inspector, the mm. boy seems all right to me. And yeah, it was it was up to me. I I would kind of want to see Jack's body. Say, oh, can I, can I can I just examine his body? Obviously, those wounds are not from a lunatic. Sanity, I'm beginning to worry about. Mm, yeah, I would too. Oh, here we go again. This is probably when he's asleep, or maybe. Who knows? Are these premonitions or dreams, or maybe it could be real? Oh, no wound. Alright, so this is probably a premonition. And now I'm just paying attention to the background. I just want to see what's happening in the background. There's probably something. <laughs> yo, yo, this guy's so disrespectful. Shall I be forced to feed you, David? I sense a love connection. Oh, now that's sweet. Now, come on. How would you... Oh, he's just being a... Let's try a little hard. He's, be... he's being a douche. Let's be honest now. No. 
he seems remarkably happy for somebody whose friend just passed away and him being all alone. <laughs> We're listening to music and everything. He's he's on, he's on cloud nine. Okay, here we go. This kid, this, this, kid, this kid giving the creep eye. Very beautiful girl. Oh no. It once began to say things which interested me. Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> 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 was that was that his attention drifting? Oh, he's already back. I'll get it. Lovely wide shot. That's a good wide shot. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. oh man, oh man, <laughs> oh they're just mowing down every, oh the house is on fire, oh, oh, shh. Have you been up long? That, that, that's quite a dream, that's quite a dream. Not to worry, I've just <laughs> Oh man, werewolf soldiers coming to your house and mowing down your whole family with machine guns. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. A dream within a dream. Whoever said hospitals don't have good food? I was. I, 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 that, they keep saying that, like in different movies, like Jello, the whole Jello thing. Oh man, that's good. That's good stuff. Gotta hear Jack. Thanks a lot. Are you kidding me? That that's his response. Am I asleep now, awake, or what? I realize I don't look so hot. That's some very good uh, prosthetics. Very, very convincing for the time. To visit me? Sorry to be upsetting you, David. Oh man, that's that's good stuff. I have to warn you. That's some warn really me. good prosthetic. We were attacked yeah. by a werewolf. Uh, I'm not no, there we go. This. On the moors, we were attacked. Where where does this where does this rank with like compared to Revenant, the bear attack? Wolf must be destroyed. Uh oh, and what if he's the last remaining werewolf? It's you, David. There you go. What? AKA kill yourself. I'm lonely. <laughs> Take your life, David. Oh man, yeah, that that's a that's really good convincing. <laughs> I'm bo I'm bored. Kill yourself. <laughs> Beware the moon. That's some that's a that's some tagline. No. Oh, that now that now that is the response that right there i'm a werewolf let me i love you i'm a werewolf yes just because i gave you a kiss that's why you would believe me are you all right now and jack was just here uh, yeah it's, I, I guess you know john landis has a lot of comedies under his yes. belt i don't know if this maybe you this is supposed to be a dark comedy i i do not technically read years. the category of this film what do you think? <laughs> So I don't know. Maybe she also knows about it, but I don't know. She kind of likes him, so she doesn't want to tell. Who knows? Remember, I'm just a wow. So don't expect too much. I need to be admitted to a hospital. Find someone there. That's. Oh, she's a. Oh, this is this is this is <laughs> this is the director right here. <laughs> Casablanca poster. There we go. I guess. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna see something in the mirror. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I believe that you loved him very much and that somehow you blame yourself for his death. I don't th I do not think he loved him very much, no. A werewolf can only be killed by someone who loves him. Oh. What are you talking about? <laughs> Emphasis on the word love. Oh, are you kidding me? If that works, oh man, I'm gonna go around telling people I'm a vampire. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the maybe the dude that dropped them off in the very beginning, maybe he's part of it, as well. The slaughtered lamb. That would be a cool album cover. I'll give you that. How are these guys always just in here playing <laughs> playing chess and throwing darts? Not that impressive. No. I have a no, feeling the doctor is gonna die. I don't feel. I don't know. Game. I get a I get a feeling. No. There's no, no food here. <laughs> <laughs> These guys stay in this pub for all day with no food. 
Well, is he gonna is he, is he gonna snitch? Is he gonna snitch? Well, he was the one who gave them the advice of you know, beware of the There's moon, stay place. on the stay Not on the road. I, <laughs> I love that run. <laughs> so I think that's a great run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's some creepy kids. Thanks a lot, dog. Who is he calling a dog? Oh, man. <laughs> okay, now question is, how do you get the cat to act that way? Okay, that that's some that's some animal handler right there. And dirty feet, man. Are you kidding me? Dirty feet. Wash your feet. News of the world tomorrow. No, that no. There's no such programming. Yo, yo, come on now, get real. This guy, man, this guy's just <laughs> snooping everywhere. Get real, wash your feet. Uh oh, yeah, okay. He, he's not. He, uh, he's slowly. He's slowly figuring out something is wrong with him. Yep, yep. What's wrong with you is you're not wearing a no. Oh man, come on, wear your socks. Oh, uh oh, something. Uh, uh, full moon. Ah, uh, beware the full moon. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's some. Oh, I thought it was gonna transition. That was that was a good. That was a good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yo, you're supposed to live in Levi's. Don't turn. Oh, oh. I. I'm assuming I'm assuming this is one of the most this is I can see why this would be a very this is an awesome scene. This is a good scene. This ooh it's a good scene. <laughs> Dude. Can you imagine if this movie was remade in like you know, turned, like with current with current CGI and what it can do? I probably think this is probably better, like to do it all practical. Okay, here we go. The night time. I love this film stock, whatever they're using. You know that this is the it just reminds me of like you know them those classic scary with like the top comes to mind is like Exorcist, but obviously obviously there are other films that use like great film stock just to like, you know you know what I mean? It's just like yeah, film stock, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna die. Get real. What would what 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 uh, what would make him go all the way out to the woods with his drink? <laughs> oh, that but that that's that's a good jump scare. I can see I can see in the, in the theaters. Boom! As soon as that telephone is ringing, people people bad. jump. He's not. This this also reminds me. Yeah, of course, seeing that werewolf transformation scene, it reminds me kind of obviously of the thing, like John Carpenter's the thing. But this feels like I don't want to say like John Carpenter minor, but it feels like something along his line of like films that he would make. And I can assume this is something John Carpenter was digging. You probably dug Who's this. There? Who's there? Uh oh. Come on, don't attack these people. What did they do? They're just trying to keep they're just trying to keep warm. Leave them alone. Uh, there we go. First it was the telephone and then there was the train. What's going on? Oh. oh. On oh from the tunnel. Oh, that's a that oh. It, you had to have a tube scene. Mm. No, you won't. Yeah, come on now, you won't have that. No. Okay, whatever is on his right hand side, you would not have that. No, no, you would not have that. No. Airplane, I see you. Okay, this right here. This is this is right here. If this was the only scene in the film, I would live with it. It's a that was. Great, great tube scene. Okay. Oh, that's. Ooh. Man, how much did you pay that stuntman? That's, or whoever, whoever did the foley. <laughs> that, that that was a convincing fall. 
Oh, nice. I like that. The cinematography is tip top. Okay, that. Thank you. Douche. That's that that that's a douche alert. <laughs> okay, that was funny. And uh, saying goodbye. Getting okay. Knocked out of the flat. Then okay, I she should have found the NYU NYU shirt leave, ripped up. And then I woke up naked at the zoo. Hush, will know what to do. Man, <laughs> he wakes up in a zoo, and this is the way he acts. Doctor Hirsch just 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 told told her, you know. Did you listen to anything? on the radio and newspaper TV you would expect them to at least read something or listen to something before they leave the house that's enough oh, uh, no, that, well, what a way to what a way to get yourself <laughs> what what a what a way to get yourself arrested just assault him look at everybody just looking at look at just <laughs> they're so forgiving so forgiving ooh Oh, that was a good cut. I like that. The the reflection of the the vehicle in the mirror. That's a good cut. Promise. <laughs> what a way to <laughs> What a way to promise. No, I'm not being silly, you little creep. You promise? He has to convince them that he loves them. Okay. Oh man. How sad. Okay. Oh here! Yeah. Oh no! Oh, oh come on now! You everybody knows you can't. You can't. Yeah, it's too blunt. Get real. Nobody, nobody kills themselves with a Swiss Army knife. Get real. Of course, he's standing in front of. Uh, oh man! Of course, that if if any place. Oh no! 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 Don't go in. Of course, this I is Jack. where Jack would want to be. This to me. No. This isn't Mr. What a what a way to torment somebody. He's your good friend, Judith Browns. Hello. Oh. Hello. And they're so and happy, and they're happy. Are Alf? They're happy. Ted and Joe. How 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 did how, I wonder how did Jack how did Jack arrange all of this? I was like, you know what, guys, we all need to meet in this theater, and we're 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 gonna see we're gonna see David. We're gonna invite him in, give him a pep talk, and you know this is just the right place to be. I do it. Sleeping pills? Not and the, sure the, uh, apparently the dead, the dead are the people no. with the brain. No, if you did it, the, wrong, they're the, it'd be painful. <laughs> they're the, they're the ones, they're the ones that have a conscience. So what? I didn't joke. Chief, an electric shock. Uh, so uh, th these guys are getting creative. <laughs> the tube, the tube guy is not amused. Everybody else has creative ideas for how to kill yourself. <laughs> no, oh, oh, no. here we go. Okay, if you're gonna try. Oh. Everybody, what? Everybody, everybody left without, without uh, notifying the usher. I, I bet, I bet John Landis just loved this, you know. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, right in the jug. That, that, now that's a way to decapitate someone. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh man, mass hysteria, oh no. Oh no. Now everybody's killing everybody. Oh no. Everybody's killing everyone. Uh oh. Okay, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Okay, Nur Nurse Price has to pick up a gun and slay him. That's some urgency, right? <laughs> it's it's always it. It's always in the vehicle. That's when you load up the clips. Oh, I like the I like this running. I like this running. Very good foreground and background. Okay, that's true love right there. Okay, actions speak louder than words. That's true. That that's that's real love right there. Is she gonna? Is she, is she gonna? Is she? Is this gonna be a Black Widow Hulk? It's like, calm down, calm down. You're not a werewolf. You're not a werewolf. Oh come on now! The police could get closer than that. She, she's remarkably brave for somebody who has never seen a werewolf before. I love you, David. There we go. 
true love. No, no way. The, these these policemen are they're they're marksmen. <laughs> they shot the werewolf without hitting her. <laughs> no way. Uh, where <laughs> those three, whoever shot whoever shot David this shouldn't be working as a policeman going become <laughs> they're special ops whoa okay okay what a way to end that's an abrupt ending right there I expected Nurse Price to be killing David, and you know the the, the whole thing about <laughs> silver bullets. I get well. I guess five shots is enough. Well, I I counted five, but other than that, I I would say okay. Having watched uh, Coming to America, this seems like I, I I can guess this is this would fit alongside what John Landis would uh, direct, but. Other than that, I thought it was actually, well, it was actually, yeah, it was it was interesting. It's a it's a cult movie. This is most definitely cult movie. And uh, like I said, if this seems like something you would be sitting down in the basement with, you watching it with your boys or 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 your homies from college, you know, and 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 um, John Carpenter is there, and you know he he says, you know, no, you're you, we're all going to John Carpenter's house, and he says, what do you want? And we all just say, give me a small Guinness. This is if 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 that's ever a scene, if if you're going to John Carpenter's house, and you're going into his basement, where he has all the film reels, or this is not a, I can't see Quentin Tarantino playing this, but you know John Carpenter, he's like, you know what? Everybody sit down. It's a pandemic. We're gonna we're gonna watch a classic. We're gonna watch a classic. Some werewolf. Some werewolf. This is a movie you wanna watch at late nights. This is a late nights movies. You know, especially when it's raining. You get a good small Guinness. Small Guinness. Like what Dr. Hirsch had. And you just drink it up. Yeah. An American werewolf in London. Yeah? I mean it it definitely does not it it makes me it makes me think again about traveling to, to backpacking I, well they weren't even backpackers they were in the back of a sheep truck well i guess i guess if that's the that you know that's the yolo that's the yolo vibe but i like the movie i mean it was definitely of its time um i can see again the prosthetics were very good and i can see that's what's that's what you know that's what people and and I think the like the uh, the grit the graininess you know like the most of the scenes if I'm not mistaken were shot in the dark uh, well at least in night night time but don't clean it up uh, like I don't know if you know like like Criterion Vinegar Syndrome and all these these companies that do restorations of like classic films I I don't know I I don't know if I can see this as a Criterion film but I can definitely see this as like um like a a special restoration not only like a 4k restoration but like they go back to the original um film like um, and blow it up like do do a do a really clean version of this have some of that you know you need a i would this would be killer commentary to hear from like john landis or just to hear like you know like it's like you want to you want to hear the behind the scenes with um with uh, Kurt Russell and uh, John Carpenter like in like Big Trouble in Little China like those you want to hear them as much as it's a good film you want to hear John Carpenter talk about you know on set and this is like not uh, no less is you want to hear <laughs> the, the the scene in the CD theater I mean. I want to. I want to. Kind of want to know. Probably there are some factoids about it online, but just to hear it from John Landis himself, who primarily I think does a lot of comedy comedy films. But I think if this was, I would I would consider this like a not a dark comedy. It's like this is a shallow dark comedy, but still a very good one. Like like I can imagine if you're watching this with a lot of people, this would be pretty fun. And I hope you guys had fun too. And yeah, um, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch some cool films. We're gonna watch some cool films. 
I hope you all, you all are ready for them late nights with Sammy. All right, that's it for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.